Bob Summers. Welcome to Boomer Bob's Tax Cafe and Coffee Bar, where we drink lattes and talk about tax. Today, I'm going to talk about pre-immigration planning. Now, those of you who are planning to come to the United States on a permanent basis and you have highly appreciated assets, you need to understand that the U.S. taxes you on your worldwide income. It doesn't matter where your assets are located. Because so many people I deal with are shocked when they hear this. Let me repeat it. The U.S. taxes you on your worldwide income. Therefore, if you've got appreciated assets, you need to engage in pre-immigration tax planning before you come to the United States. Let me give you an example. Let's say you live in China and you've got an investment property you've held for 30 years. You bought it for $50,000. You come to the U.S., you sell that property for a million dollars. Guess what? You have a $950,000 gain of which you're going to pay federal tax and probably state tax. And the amount's going to range between two to $300,000. That's the case even though all the appreciation took place before you came here. So let's go over some tax planning techniques that you can use. First of all, you can gift your assets to your relatives before you come to the United States. So you don't have assets in your own name. If you have highly appreciated securities in an investment account, you can sell your stocks and other securities and then repurchase them at fair market value, thereby getting rid of the gain before you come to the U.S. You can always sell your real estate or other assets and convert them to cash and bring the cash to the U.S. because there's not a taxable transaction involving your cash. For more sophisticated techniques, you can use what's called a drop-off trust, you can use foreign life insurance, and foreign corporations to help plan uh, for your immigration to the United States. But you need to be aware that if you give your assets to your relatives, your foreign relatives, and they sell those assets and immediately send you back the cash, the IRS is going to challenge that type of transaction. So you really need to work with a sophisticated tax attorney who understands this area. So in conclusion, if you've got appreciated foreign assets, uh, you really need to do pre-immigration planning or you may set yourself up for a tax nightmare. If you have questions on this or any other tax questions, please contact me. If you thought this video was helpful, please like it on YouTube. Please visit my website for other articles on this and other uh, tax matters. Until next time, this is Bob Summers from Boomer Bob's Tax Cafe and Coffee Bar saying, I hope you come to my next presentation.